This weekend, head to Historic Weston for an event that celebrates and explores whiskey. And it's all for a good cause. Terry Cass, owner of Celtic Ranch and Mimi Kippis, a big brothers, big sisters, most wanted honoree, are here to fill us in. Okay, so lots going on in Weston this weekend. Absolutely. Saturday from 1 to 5. Mm -hmm. We're having Weston Whiskey and Tobacco. We have 10 distillers. Here's some of our products here. Who's going to be there? And the money goes to Big Brothers and Big Sisters. And Wonderful. Mimi's kind of coordinating the getting the proceedings together. Yeah, how's that all going to come together? Oh, well, <laughs> there's about 25 of us that were selected. Can you need a slug of whiskey before you explain this to us? Actually, I could use one. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, 25 of us were selected to be the most wanted honorees and in doing that we are putting together once in a lifetime packages to be auctioned off at the most wanted gala this okay. December um, and then we're hosting big fundraisers such as the Weston Whiskey and Tobacco Fest. So we're working tirelessly and I'm lucky enough to have met uh, Terry along my uh, most wanted journey mm -hmm. who we've collaborated on this really fun event and we're really excited. The Whiskey Trail. Yes, she well, if you're going to find Terry, trail. she's always look, on the whiskey look trail. Look on the whiskey trail for Terry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so will you show us some of the things that you brought in? And I know we cannot drink on the show. Well, you can nose it, though. Um, we can nose it. What does that mean? Okay, well, uh, whiskey tasting can be every bit as um, snobby, snobby, snobby. Oh, okay. <laughs> as wine ever thought about being. Pretentious might be another Yeah, pretentious oh, is a good one. Go. I brought this because it has a really, really nice nose. This is a 20 year old. Um, Rye. You're going to nose it. And I'll, right. I'll just finish it for you later, Joel. Don't, yes, please do. Yeah, don't feel bad. <laughs> okay. That's beautiful. So what, what, what's the technique? Okay, so, so you, be super you want a glass like this. This is uh, Glen Karen, and McCormick Stills, this one is actually going to be um, complimentary with your nice drink this weekend. And, um, and this allows <clears throat> the tulip shape allows all of the nosing, all of the aroma to come into your senses. Okay, so we care. And you hold it at the bottom. So, okay. Joel, at the bottom. I'm holding it at okay. the bottom, Terry. <laughs> so, Quit yelling at me. So, okay. it, so you don't warm it up. And then you really, really want to get, because what happens is there's a little bit of, you know, a little bit of burn. So you really want to prepare your palate for what you're going to taste. And you can taste it better. So you really kind of want to bring it up to your nose. And okay. wait, you want to do this with your mouth open. So oh. you breathe in through your nose <laughs> and out through your mouth. So you're bringing that in there. So for a so mouth you, oh, breather, actually get it all the way in do. there. That's hard to do. You stick your schnoz all the way in this all thing? All the way in there is really... Can you smell that butterscotch? Mm. Really, can you? Wow. Can I, smell that? I, I feel like I've actually been sipping it just from smelling it. I know, it, see? Right? My sinuses are completely so maybe, cleared. Maybe you're going to be in trouble just from I've sipping it. I've never heard that you're supposed to leave your mouth open while you sniff. Well, yes, and it brings all that, what you're smelling, I'm right down so into your palate. So if you close your mouth, it comes out your ears. Is that what happens? Not mine, but maybe yours. It I'm could I'd like to watch. There's not a lot stopping it, Terry. <laughs> So, okay, so what else can we expect from the event other than people sticking their noses in their glasses? Well, um, we're going to have Irish dancers, mm -hmm. uh, and we'll have a band, and um, we have somebody there rolling t uh, cigars. So it'll be a grand event. We're really looking forward to it. If you have 10 distillers, and each one of them have four whiskeys, you better be picking and choosing or have a ride home. And Mimi has coordinated <laughs> a van from... Uh, Kansas City Transportation Group. Oh, um, excellent. It's doing... Um, transfers to and from the event as well, which will be great. Um, Thirty dollars round trip, which is probably cheaper than any mm -hmm. um, ride fantastic. share, and then it's thirty dollars to get into the door um, in advance, and thirty-five um, at the door of the event on Saturday, November fourth. And you it's, mentioned the burn. Is it okay to have a little burn? Is that does that mean it's good? Well, at first, you know, whiskey's a journey, so, <laughs> so you're is on a, a trail and it's a journey. Sure. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh, at first you kind of get that burn and then you start kind of becoming a little fond of it But what we have here today doesn't really even have a burn. It's a 20 year old mm. and so it's, it's fancy yeah, it's If you'd like to stuff. wander the whiskey trail with Terry. Yes, and it is an adventure. <laughs> I do uh, The enjoy. Western Whiskey and Tobacco Festival. It is this Saturday, November 4th We're gonna have a link to full details on KCLive.tv later on today. This was very festive. This smells great. Thank you Slauncha. so much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Oh, thank you. Mm. Just right, knows well, it again. It'll be okay. like you were there. <laughs> All right, what do you